my name is Oyebuchi Odianjo and I am a communication consultant and I would like to talk about um, certain challenges that has been happening in recent times in the banking sector. And um, this is as a result of the easing of, of the lockdown in some parts of Nigeria. Now what are these challenges? We all know um, is rowdiness. I'm sure some of us have seen viral videos of how rowdy some banking environments have been. And then the second thing is, as a result of this rowdiness, a lot of people have failed to maintain social distance. And I believe this must have been caused by several things. And I've tried to write down a few things, about three, three of them, which I would love to share with you that, has, that is the cause or have resulted to this rowdiness and, and not adhering to social distance. Okay, so first of all is um, unreliable technical solutions. Now, some people might have tried to carry out an online transaction and their money will hook, you know. So, um... It has been like a thing or a norm for you to walk into the banking hall to get that rectified. And I believe within two, three, two weeks of the lockdown, people must have had a lot of people must have had these issues. So that that's that would be one of the things that must have led to that. And then another is um, less branches were opened. You know, as a result of the COVID nineteen issue, I believe some banks thought it was um, imperative to open a few branches so you have a bank closed in Ilopeju and another one is open in Mushi so the influx of people coming from another lo location to the other of course resulted to rowdiness and then another is most banks did not envisage the crowd right I believe if they did that they wouldn't be the crowd wouldn't be there. So how did they do that? How? Why, why am I saying this? Well I believe they, must have, they should have used um, the data that they have to analyze the figure um, of customers expected in the bank. So every week, there are, there are a certain amount of people that come into the bank. You have that data as a bank. And then for two good weeks, some places where some bank, banks were not functional. Now, it is expected that people, when you accumulate this, people, the amount of people you should be expecting, you should have envisaged that. But I think, I think that some banks didn't do that and didn't expect the crowd. So what happened happened so i've also written down some solutions that i believe would help to um, address these causes which is rowdiness and of course not adhering to social distance i have about i have a few of them and i'll start to mention them so first um there should be alternatives to going to the bank to lodge checks and clearance a lot of people had checks that they, they needed to clear before the lockdown was declared so um, there should be alternatives that should be made more atms should be functional i went to a bank sometime last week and only one atm out of six of them was working i believe this can be addressed and it should be done it should be looked into seriously more atm should please be functional and then of course more functionality should be activated in ATMs. For example, lodging in money, you know, paying in money through an ATM rather than going into the bank. More functionality should be put um, or should be activated rather in ATMs. And then another I will talk about is technical issues surrounding money transfers like POS issues, ATM withdrawals. Things happen when it comes to transferring funds. So please, technical issues surrounding money transfers should be addressed by banks. And then, of course, more efficient ways of depositing money need to be looked at. They should be more efficient ways. There are some people that, their businesses, like, um, let's say, caterers or people that run restaurants, they have a lot of cash most times. So they would like to deposit their money into the bank, but unfortunately, the banks were closed. So I think more efficient ways to deposit money should be looked into. And then, of course, text messages. Um, text messages. Text messaging is a very effective way to communicate to a very large audience, especially those who have little or zero present um, online or on social media. Text messages are still very efficient. I get a lot of notifications from my bank via my email, but I don't get text messages. And I believe there are some people that don't have, um, they're not online most times, but if you text most times, or if you text more, I believe there are certain messages you'll be able to pass across, especially to those who are not online. So please, text, mes text messages should be utilized properly. And then local dialect sensitization. Um, I believe this can be done. Media content should be produced. Jingles should be produced in local dialects. We hear of some jingles in English, some popular ones I would like to mention, but we know these things. How about using local dialects to actually 
promote um, certain services of the banks. I think media content should be created more in local dialects. And then, of course, um, mobile apps and um, online transactions. So customers should be able to select their preferred language using mobile applications or when they are running online transfers. It's most times in English, so I think it can be done um, in other languages. I think it should, be, it should be good to be able to have um, the ability to select a preferred language. Now, another one is more bank branches need to be open to reduce this ruggedness. Come on. It is something else. The last time I watched a video and an old man was being squeezed in the crowd. It was really touching. It was really, really sad for me to see that. And I, I hear that people are collapsing. The, the tendency to contact this disease, this COVID-19, is so high. So it wouldn't be nice to get your brand uh, as a bank to this issue. So I think that um, more banks to be open. If you don't plan to open a branch, please reconsider and open it and then mobile leds that's that's i don't know that it's not so effective here in nigeria but outside the country there are lots of taxis that have leds on, on top of their cars um, and they advertise brands and products and services i think those are those should be one of the things that banks should do now because there are some services truthfully some customers are not aware of but then if you have um 20 taxis in um, let's say Abuja advertising a particular message I believe it to get to a very wide audience and then another thing I would like to um, talk about is TV screen should be positioned within the bank premises to sensitize, sensitize people or customers that are around the crowd is there so how about while waiting for your turn to enter because I believe people they enter 10 10 now or something like that so while waiting for your turn, why not place television screens in certain positions and then play these videos that we don't get to see all the time so that people are educated. I believe one or two people that are trying to go into the bank for something. Who knows? He might see a video that might just help and then he just helps himself out online. So I think TV screens should be positioned in strategic places within the banking um, premises. And then lastly... Customers' convenience should always and also be considered. Something like putting chairs and canopies. I believe some banks are doing that, but I think more banks need to do that because um, it's getting too rowdy. I believe they are trying to address the situation, but I think we should also put our customers' consideration and um, our customers' convenience rather into consideration. So um, these are a few. These are the few of my recommendations or solutions rather. So. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Moebuchi Odianjor and I own a, a media company called Obuchi Multimedia. You can um, DM me, send me an email at info, info at Obuchi Multimedia or Onyebuchi Odianjor at gmail.com. That's fine, my name and surname at gmail.com. You can send me an email if you want to chat or follow me on any of my social media platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. You can follow my personal page or our business page at Obuchi Multimedia. Thank you very much. Please feel free to um, share whatever recommendation, opinions or concerns you have about this presentation. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.